Welcome back to the Insane Nightmare Survival Guide. Today we're talking all about machine guns. Do note that that doesn't include the submachine gun because the game classes them as pistols. So without further ado, let's get into the machine guns and how to get the most out of them in 7 Days to Die Alpha 20. Machine guns are governed by Fortitude and the Machine Gunner perk. The machine guns are the Pipe Machine Gun, the AK-47, the Tactical Assault Rifle, and the M60. The tactical rifle is a burst fire weapon for some reason, but all the other weapons are fully automatic. Machine guns are great at most realistic ranges and in most situations. They do decent damage, have decent accuracy and very high fire rates, but they can be difficult to control. And the big issue is that they devour your ammo supplies unless you really exercise trigger discipline, which if you're using a machine gun, what's the point of that? Most of the guns in 7 Days to Die fill some sort of special niche, and the niche for machine guns comes down to two words, Commando Adrenaline. Commando Adrenaline is the name the game gives to the bonus effect of the machine gunner perk. At the final rank, every shot you hit with a machine gun will regenerate 6 stamina. This means you can quite literally run and gun. This makes machine guns perfect for doing horde nights without a base. If you just keep sprinting and keep firing, you'll come out fine on the other side. The machine gunner perk will also give you 50% more damage, 25% faster fire rate, and 30% of faster reload. To make this playstyle viable though, you will need an agility perk called a run and gun. This will increase your hip fire accuracy, which is good, but what we need is the removal of the reload movement penalty so you can keep sprinting while reloading. The Automatic Weapons Handbook, which is the skill book for machine guns, focuses on the idea of concentrated fire. It will make you do 1% more damage per shot hit until you miss, and it also increases the accuracy of the machine gun as you fire. Meaning, if you just keep shooting, you'll do more damage, you'll be more accurate, and you'll get the bonus chance to ragdoll, which comes with this skill book as well. The completion bonus works well with Commando Adrenaline, giving you a non-stacking 20% boost to your movement speed for 20 seconds each time you get a kill with a machine gun. All this creates a fantastic weapon that overcomes the need for a horde base. You can run around and keep firing to regenerate stamina, which will also ragdoll enemies, and if you just keep shooting and hitting, you'll do more damage and get more accurate. That said, of course, machine guns do work really well with horde bases as well, but I do feel they're somewhat a waste of the weapon's potential. A shotgun or an SMG will do just as well in a horde base situation, or even just the really powerful explosives, but the machine guns are the only weapons that can let you infinite sprint run and gun for horde night, even on insane nightmare. If you can get your hands on mega crush, even better, because that gives you a 50% faster run speed. For the weapon mods on the M60, I like to use the drum magazine, the maximum ammo capacity, the laser sight and the foregrip for hip fire accuracy and a muzzle brake for reduced recoil. On the AK-47 and the tactical assault rifle, I would switch out the muzzle brake for a full auto trigger group. This will give you 12% faster fire rate, or the retracting stock which will give you even more hip fire accuracy. Unfortunately though, neither of those mods will go on the M60 for whatever reason. I really would recommend just hip firing with machine guns because of the run and gun nature of them. Aiming will just slow you down, negating a lot of the bonuses that the machine guns give you in a really optimised machine gun build. I've already covered the 762 ammo quite extensively in the rifles video, so I'd rather not cover the same ground in the same series, so I'll just say that armor piercing ammo is really good if you can keep up with the costs. But the most important thing is just firing something so that you can keep regenerating stamina, get more accurate, and do more damage. So you can definitely get away with regular ammo or even high power if you have some lying around. Unfortunately though, if you want to bulk craft 762 ammos, you'll need the sniper skill book, as rather than the automatic weapons handbook, they are found in the rifle skill book which is slightly annoying for machine guns players. Honestly though, machine guns are pretty simple. The most interesting mechanic here is of course the Commando Adrenaline perk effect, which allows you to run infinitely, and the skill book effect, which gives you bonus speed after kills. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe learned a new way to use machine guns. If you found this guide useful, check out my guide on either shotguns or sniper rifles. Thank you to my channel members and patrons for making these videos possible and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.